Remember that there's help available. Round the clock hotline. That is not funny. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang, no more thing. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the floor, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Wait, if, if things go to ship, we got a backup plan? What do you think? I am accused of betraying Arasaka. Soon I will try to confront the sister of the CEO in person. There are no backup plans. This one must work. The NCPD has urged... I'm ready. Question is, are you? I formed this plan, did I not? All while ignoring one crucial element. A friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. But you're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Ah, you have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So? So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. Stay safe, Cora. The one closer. Now you must dip to the balcony by the green arrow and take the elevator. Take the footbridge at the top to cross the street. Equally powerful. Equally powerful. Equally powerful. Equally powerful. 
I know that borged out ogre. Adam fucking smasher. Guy who killed you, right? Guy, motherfucker's barely human. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Sabura, I'll have to be satisfied with Smasher. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine, we. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. Don't look too stable. Sure. Fuck! Almost fell! -daisy for Carefully, you. you must not draw attention. Don't do so. Silence is not over. It is the sound of a Past. This is happening 
here and now. Listen, for we will not stay silent. Silence is not golden. It is the sound of a flame extinguished. Soldiers say, target down. Good words to hear. You will find that the wall to a staircase at the end of the room. It's the shortest route to the next sniper. He positioned himself high. He be boasted. He, it is all again. Listen. We have to announce that public safety has been compromised. She must be extracted at once. Arasaka is fully capable of protecting its principles. Ask your boss what he values for. The Arasaka image or his sister's life. The situation is in hand, over and out. Did you hear? They know something. Perhaps much. We must hurry. Come out with your hands in the air! Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. And if that doesn't work, you can use the footbridge to your right. Watch out for the float jets. Unless you intend to get cooked, I would keep my head low.
Surrender immediately! Come out with your hands in the air! Well, that would be all. Yes, apparently. Well done. But problem remains. And that is... The Arasaka Netrata. She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. <laughs> we'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment building. Near to the second sniper's nest. Okay, on my way. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Of course you're here! Oda, is he dead? He's breathing. For now. Please be. Show him mercy. 
There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. You and your fucking sick sense of honor. Today's your lucky day, though. <laughs> Can thank your old friend, Goro. It is I who thank you. Okay, Prem. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. Hikenda私が参加したのはあくまでもお父様を追悼するため。操り人形になる兄さん。やり終えましょう。ありがとう。花子。せっかくの式典だ。やり終えなければ悔いが残る。ゴロ、Fucking mind? There's no time to explain. We must meet. Where are you? An abandoned apartment block on Vine Street. Second floor. Number 303. Knock four times. Hurry.
for psychosis! Right about now, Hanukkah's the most famous missing person in the world. I am aware. So, every Arasaka soldier is on our trail. You're right. Let us not waste any time. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea? Yes. She respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. Sorry that we have to speak under such circumstances. That is the second time today I have heard that. I was there that night at Konpeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. It's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. B? Look, I know it's a lot to take in, let alone believe. Also know you're an honorable person. Worthy of trust. And that's why I want to make you an offer. You make me an offer? The relic your brother tried to hawk off to net watches in my head. Right now. Took a bullet to the brain, but the tech on the chip saved me. Now, it's slowly killing me. One of your personality constructs, Ingrams. It's overriding my psyche. Gotta stop the process before it's too late. Know you got the means to help me. Hanako-sama! He is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks if only you will help her with the relic. Hanako-sama. Did you hear that? Go and check. Bad feeling about this.
Last chance to get the fuck out of here. Tapamori, can't leave him back Forget there. him, guy's toast. Unless you want to wind up like him. Thank me later. Need to find a way out now. Fast! Here I am. You will do the right. It's our only chance. Is there no yeah. chance? We're exposed! B. 
リロードしなければ Different ways. Alone, we have a better chance. Really? Think so? Then go. Now. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck ups like us? ACs busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell you who sleeps here. Fucking... Johnny? Yeah? Shut your gonk mouth, please. Saying random shit ain't gonna help anyone. How the tables have turned. Johnny, for crying out- Now we're the ones sitting around waiting for Sokka assault squads to storm in. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goral? Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Song yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. For v. Don't touch that door. Are you asleep? Time to wake up. Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to hear, or will you let me in? All right, gonna let you in. Finally. Ugh. 
on the wall. Is that blood? Yeah. Knocked the last star off this stone. So, you were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. <sighs> It'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Monaco? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Any word from Goral? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. That is all you need to know at this time. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takemura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. I'm sorry. No, this must be difficult for you. Painful. So much so that I could not look the truth in the eye. What happens now? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. You're gonna help me first. Perhaps I did not speak clearly. We must act quickly. Well, I'm pretty tight on time, too. Dying, in fact. My dead body'd make for a pretty lame-ass witness. I understand. Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Is there a problem? Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. The process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer, using her own modified version now. That should be more than useful. That's about the extent of what we got. What now? Let us meet in person, at Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh, well, that's my job done. You know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sako meets March in here. Right. Because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this... It's something new. Glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. 
crash landed. What's Let's up? get out of Got here. Got a few more words about the the porcelain cunt. <laughs> Shit! Get ready. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pista Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Pseudo into a trison in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. Did you want to pop the pill? Cooler chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Okay. I believe you. Thanks. Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. Fifty years back. Uh, Mexican conflict? When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <sighs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now, watching a fan until the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. 
Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear, I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get white. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I... do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Got a better idea. Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Seriously? Smasher? He suddenly comes to mind. Last time we saw him... Didn't we... have a chance to say hello. That's why we gotta find him. Finally end this. Not your dying wish? Revenge? It's more than that. And I'll need you to take Rogue with you. It's important to me, and it's just as important for her. That ain't true. I'm not sure Rogue's the sentimental type. Hmm. Bitter bitch these days, said it yourself. And it has been a while. So I'll jog her memory myself. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Not sure you've earned my trust. This needs to work both ways, V. You enjoy complete control over me at all times. <laughs> Don't even enjoy control over myself. You're the one who makes the bad calls. All I can do is advise. And ask for favors, like I'm doing now. Rogue's convenient cover. For what? Me seizing control of your body at long last? Or some gonk-ass suicide plan to attack Arasaka again. Know you pretty damn well at this point, Johnny. For the last time, no secret plan. Nelman said you'd do this. Make a power grab or pitch for control. Anders Hellman. And just what has he ever done to help you? May not help, but he doesn't hurt me. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Fine. I'll do this for you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. <sighs> the Hotel Pista Sofia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. 
This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, be Delta. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father... No? I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh? Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Seem on edge? Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that AB has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Minen, Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do. And one is very near. Where? Here in Night City. Beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on, talk. My brother 
You catch a whiff of that? It smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Hmm. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? I said, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of our Saka top brass? Call me crazy, but that and sounds like fucking suicide. I will. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamura said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. Know my place, too. Know exactly where I came from. Maybe. Once it's all said and done, I'll find my way back there. Perhaps. If you can prove your value. Jesus, I'm gonna fucking puke. So? Offer's intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. Getting us out of here. Don't try anything. Wait. Is everything all right, Hanako-sama? I am fine. She is not. It's fine. I'm... I'm okay. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. No worries about that. You could use some air right now. Insisted I'm not giving a shit. Now this porcelain cunt's gonna use you in her fancy scheme. Fuck off. Haven't agreed to anything. But yet. I know you still don't understand how these leeches operate. She met you face to face. She revealed her plan. She sunk her teeth deep into you. Not gonna be able to pry yourself out. I know perfectly well how they operate. You don't play ball willingly. They force you. They don't play these kind of games. 
Don't invite you for a meal at a restaurant with a fucking grand piano. Hey, you relax. If we stand to gain anything from anyone inside our side, it's her. So maybe... Hey, great, you checking out again? No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic. You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Uh, Almost done stabilizing the biochip. No, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How did I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talman was your guardian. Huh? I, uh, I wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. So, <clears throat> how bad we talking? That bad, huh? All right. That should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. I'll try. I think I'm getting some feeling back. <sighs> so slowly. <sighs> Another victory for the history books. <clears throat> if you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Uh-huh. You'll find something there that'll help you end this on your own terms. If you can manage to cross those few yards, the rest will be up to you and you alone. On your own terms, huh? Really subtle there, Doc. Enough, Johnny. I just... I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, just in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Was it? No, nope. never does. You mean in... it's a rerun? One I like to go back to. Why'd you get so mad then? If you already knew who won? Oh no, really. I guess I like to think about where Walsh might have tripped up. Any theories? 
entering the ring against a stronger opponent, but it feels a little strange to call that a mistake. I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. That will. And you hang in there, too. Hey, V, I heard. Good luck, kid. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. Let me guess. My aura's sputtering? Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure. Lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What, what's he gotta do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit and mull through some shit yourself. You were right. Choice spot. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. I'm gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. Not what you expect. No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Nah, not really my style. Goodbyes. You do you. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> Man, you tried to kill me. Exactly what I mean. Here we are now, together, soaking in this vista of Night City. My only regret's that I won't get to see how it all ends. You're the one who rejects the only option we got left. Cooperating with monsters like them, anything's better. Think it's worth taking a chance on our soccer. The fuck was that? God, how are you so fucking stubborn? Inherited your finest traits. You absolutely sure? 
No going back on this, you know. Just hold on a minute. Need to think. It's worth taking a chance on our soccer. The fuck was that? God, how are you so fucking stubborn? Inherited your finest traits. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Yeah, just don't freak out. Honestly, couldn't give a gnat shit. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just wanna be there for it. Aware. Just me now. At last. Your offer. I accept. You took your time. In the interim, Yorinobu has made his move. What do you mean? My brother has made me his guest at his residence in North Oak. Locked you in? Yes. His people watch over me for my safety. Think your Nobu knows? Many things might have raised his suspicions. I do not see any other reason for him to hold me here. <sighs> Sounds bad. What now? We can delay no longer. I must leave this place. I need your help to do so. Where are you? At Victor's, my ripper dock. Back behind a small shop called Misty's Esoterica. I will send someone for you. They will drive you to the residence. Then we shall visit my brother together at Arasaka Tower. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. In alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. What a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. 
The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. He has one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The Devil. Ooh, got another deck lying around? A cheerful one? This is no joke, V. An inverted devil symbolizes subjugation, losing control, aggression, evil, a power struggle. Whatever you're planning, treat this as a warning. <sighs> okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. <laughs> I think that's for you. Wait, is that... an Arasaka stretch? That's right. But... V... They killed Jackie and... And now you're working for them? Misty, listen. All this shit started because I decided to screw over the corp that used to sign my paychecks. If I can make things right, maybe, just maybe, things will go back to normal. I get it. They're only cards. Always open to interpretation. V, it's good to meet again. You look... like shit. Lovely little shithole. I feel like shit. And it's getting worse. I'm sorry to hear this. We should go. Wait a minute. When we last saw one another, we spoke of a construct in your head that could influence your decision-making. The same construct that, in its former life, detonated two nuclear warheads inside Arisaka Tower. And now, you and this construct have volunteered to sort out things in Arasaka. What is this about? Has no one told you? Shame. The engram inside is Johnny fucking Silverhand. Recognize the name? The terrorist? Yes, but he's suppressed now. With beta blockers. But before I did that, he warned me against working with Arasaka. So tuck your suspicions where the sun don't shine before I start regretting not taking his advice. That is enough for me. Let us go to the car. Hanako-sama is waiting. He may be satisfied. I will be watching you. We are almost there. Why has she not called? Hanako-sama, they may have cut communication at the residence. 